Hi guys, um, I know, I know before you say it, you're probably shocked on me uploading because it's been a really long time. I would say the last time that I recorded for a vlog or anything was six months ago. And I'm going to explain in this video the reason why and where I've been, what happened, and all of that. So my last video that I posted was me explaining that I got a job in the hospital. I do still work in the hospital, um, and that's why I've been like kind of really busy uh, and not really uploading. But also, like it's me juggling life itself. I have been a stay-at-home mom since forever and I was like a stay-at-home girlfriend for years before that so everything kind of just changed a lot for me and I had to juggle doing all of my errands and going to work and then try to vlog it was just a lot on me I'm not looking for a pity party or anything nothing like that um, but I just wanted to explain my reason behind it and vlogging takes up a lot of time. I, since I was home, I would stay up hours and hours editing at night. It probably took me a good five hours to edit one video because there was just so much that I cut out because I vlogged hours worth of stuff. So that is why. Um, and I just preferred sleep, honestly, over editing a video. And I just wasn't happy with some of the videos that I, Scarlett's in the back. <laughs> um, I wasn't happy with some of the videos that I had on my SD card because I was just going to upload them. And I kind of really want to put more hard work into my videos, make them more entertaining. And I don't know, I just wasn't happy and satisfied with them so I didn't want to upload them and I don't think I'm going to I didn't record so many really important things that have happened in my life these past six months and it really makes me sad because this is why I do YouTube is so I can look back at these videos my kids can look back at these videos like Scarlett's first birthday um, we got like a blow up slide and it was so much fun because we wanted to make it as fun as possible for the kids because of everything going on with the world being shut down. So it was a lot of fun, but at the same time, sorry, <laughs> she's a jabber mouth. At the same time, this was a really good kind of mental break for me. Um, not worrying about having to pick up the camera for every little thing. I kind of really enjoyed the moments. That was definitely a plus side to all of this, but I don't want to stop. I really truly miss it and um, I'm not going to say a specific schedule that I have, which is not going to happen in my life right now because things could change like that or I could go to work more and it won't be accurate for me. But I really, really, I just wanted to get on here and explain why I just haven't picked up the camera and why I haven't uploaded. We've been healthy, we've been safe, we have not gotten COVID. And yeah, no, we've been 100% okay. Kenzie also started school, so she's been in school for, she only goes two days a week and um, I got a new car. You guys know I vlogged in, uh, like I had tan interior, hated it. But yeah, I got a new car during this time because my lease was up. I think I explained that in one of my videos. Absolutely love it. I have the Ford Expedition. It is so amazing, you guys. We have the captain chairs and there's just so much room in here. So that's another thing that happened. Um, I just, yeah, I wanted to like bring you guys along so much, but at the same time, I was scared to pick up the camera because there was so much judgment during this time in the world that I am gonna just be straightforward. I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't. Um, I feel people are being too hard on one another and I just didn't want to be a part of it. So I decided to step back from social media and enjoyed my time with my family and not had to worry about other people's judgment on things. Like a lot of people would have 
definitely judged me on getting a car during this time, but I will tell you that you were not allowed in the dealership during this time, the time that I got it. They did everything online, put the keys in my new car, and we drove off. There was no contact whatsoever. So that's what I mean by that. Like people probably would have been quick to judge me on getting a car, but not realizing that nobody's lives were at risk during that time. So as most of the people in the world, the stress has been at an all time high. Um, I would definitely say that I was one of those people that my stress was at an all time high, just with my life changing quite a bit. Just miss it being normal as everybody else does. So I feel like that's just where I'm at and that's just what happened. Work has been all right. It's, you know, it's an adjustment, but it's, at the same time, it's good for me because I enjoy getting out and speaking to adults. Because being a stay at home mom, you do. You just talk with kids nonstop and you kind of lose your mind a little bit. Happy to get out those few days a week. I feel like Mackenzie is going through this phase right now because she's three that she needs more attention because she's going through these emotions and she's stressed out because I don't care what anybody says, kids get stressed out and that's totally okay that they get stressed out. You're allowed to have a bad day as a kid and I feel like she's been going through that because I'm at work. So it's really taking a toll on her and she's just been really stressed. So I feel like I just needed to put my kids first in this situation 100% my kids will always come first before YouTube or anybody else um, so I needed to step back and make sure my kids mental health and all of that is okay because my kids weren't in school at the time that the world was shut down people say that they don't really they're not really affected by it but they 100% were affected by it because I feel it's so important to see friends and to see family and we went from seeing them so often to not seeing them at all and that really took a toll on them and Mackenzie was upset. She's very close with her aunt. Um, she's very close with my parents so from just not seeing them for months was really hard on her. So. That eventually ended and we started seeing my family and stuff like that but still like not going to the parks and not going shopping which I took them pretty often to just like nothing it really it was hard on the girls so now we don't really we don't see our friends anymore really because the free time that I had before I now I'm like taking over that free time with work if you get what I'm saying um, so now we really just see my my family and they babysit when I'm at work so I'm just trying to find that balance things have been going great um, like I said we're happy we're healthy it's just that we needed a break because of everything that went on in the world just like everybody else needed a break everybody else went through rough times it hit everybody so differently I wanted to come on here and explain that situation and I apologize for not uploading I apologize for not uploading on my Instagram and giving any updates that were okay or anything I just needed a complete like shutdown on social media and that's that's pretty much it like that's my explanation there's really no reason on what I mean I guess there's a reason like I said my mental health but I don't know with the free time that I've had I've been really really focusing on my health and as most as most of this video has been explaining was my mental health so I've been taking care of that but I've also been taking care of my physical health most of you know when you're a mom in general you take care of your kids first always but we forget that we are their caregivers so we need to take care of ourselves too we need to be healthy and i just 
wasn't that. So I really started taking care of myself and working out and eating healthy and I started to lose a lot of weight and um, I'm very, very happy with that process. Um, I'm still going strong with it. I'm still, you know, trying to eat as healthy as possible. So I am back. I, I can't promise you a schedule on when I'm going to be uploading and all that, but I kind of want to just put this video out there first and explain my reason. And so it's not just weird that I have a random vlog going up and I'm like jumping back into normal life. So you have not seen Scarlett in so long. Scarlett may look different to you. So I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys stick around. I hope you guys are all safe, happy, healthy, and doing well in life. You can drop some comments down below on how you have been because I really miss interacting with you guys. So that is my update. I, I apologize again for being gone for so long, but I do love and miss you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.